What is up, guys? Welcome back to Pokey Central. In this video, I am joined by a special guest, Pokey Zone. Go check him out if you haven't already. Hey, guys. Um, link in the description, and he will be in the iCards. So just click subscribe and subscribe. It helps out his channel and my channel a lot. Tell us you know that you do like the video. So this video, we are going to be doing our top 10 Alola Pokemon. Not, and it, it, there is Alola in forms, but it's like Pokemon in Alola. Only Alola Pokemon, not the Alola Pokedex. And it's top 10 because both of us to pick five. And then I don't really know if they're the same or not. And then we're just going to go through our list of yep. the five. So before that, we have some honorable mentions. Yeah. So my honorable mention is Trumbeak. Um, I, Trumbeak is my honorable mention because when we were playing Pokemon Moon, well, it's I was, Trump, I had um, caught a Peaky Peck. And when it evolved, that was the first Pokemon that I like didn't know what it evolved into. And then I learned it was a Trumbeak. That was pretty sick. It is. So yeah, that's why it's my honorable mention. Pokezone's honorable mention is... Komala. So I was playing Pokemon Sun, and I was looking for a Pokemon that I would like on my team. I was just looking for um, a cute, strong, tough, good Pokemon. And I saw Komala, and I figured, hey, it's pretty cool. So um, I called her Komala. And it was really strong, and uh, it was a really, really good Pokemon, and that is why Komala gets the honorable mention spot. Number five for me is Toxapex. Now, Toxapex is really special to me because when I was playing Pokemon Moon, um, I took about like 40 minutes trying to find a Moraine. He did. But little did I know, 30 minutes later, that you have to run into a Corsola and then SOS it. Yep. So I wasted like 30 minutes just doing that. To just to find a Marini because but it did work work out in the long run because Toxpex was just the MVP since it's just amazing. My number five spot goes to Wishiwashi. So I was doing Lana's trial and I was battle and I was running to these Wishiwashis. I'm like, wow, if only this Pokemon evolved into something really cool and it was looked a little more stronger. Then I ran to the totem Pokemon and I said, oh my god, I gotta get this. So, after the trial, I went, caught, caught me some wishy-washy, and uh, got a really, really, really strong one. It was, like, OP. And it was really cool, so that's why wishy-washy gets number five. Number four on my list goes to Lurantis. Now, I picked Lurantis because Mallow's trial is my favorite trial because... The hardest one! It is very hard. The pain. But grass types are my favorite Pokemon, and Lurantis, I, like... I've owned it in a couple playthroughs, I think one or two, and it served me very well. So, go catch yourself a Lorantis. They're limited edition. My number four spot goes to Lysenrock Daytime Form. So, I really don't have much of a story for this, but I saw Rockruff, I saw it was cute, I got Lysenrock, it was strong, and I was playing my Pokemon Sun, and I ran into a Lysenrock, and I was battling it, and its moves were really strong. It was killing most of the Pokemon, and my Pokemon were about maybe five levels higher. So it was killing my team. So I was like, all right, I got to catch this. So I caught one, and it basically got me through the whole entire Elite Four and helped in the champion a lot. So Lysenrock gets number four. Number three is Ribombi. Uh, so when you come across a cutie fly, you don't think it to be very strong. But Not you at think all. it to be a cute and a fly. A Rabombi, if you were into that, you'd be like, whoa, that's such a Rabomb. B. Alright, anyway. Um, Rabombi is extremely strong. Its special attack and speed are amazing. It outspeeds an Alolan Raichu. Because I my Rabombi always led off in battle. One of the best leadoffs. And it always demolished Hal's Alolan Raichu. So, once again... Rabombi and Lorantis are limited edition. Catch yourself one now. Number three for me goes to Beware. So this recently just happened my story for Beware. I was doing a Pokemon playthrough, and I wanted to get a stuff line of Beware because they're, like, really, really good. Like, you'd expect its speed to be horrible, but it's pretty good. Attack's amazing. Defense is amazing. Ability's amazing. And I stuffles have like an almost never chance, so I'm like, this is gonna take me years. So I'm zoning out, thinking about how like I'm gonna like be the champion and be the best. And then I look down and boom, a stuffle. I was freaking out, caught it, 
I have Beware now, and it is overpowered, so that's why Beware gets number three. Number two is Alolan Muck. Now, Alolan Muck, um, I really love because it's super cool and strong, just like Alolan Grimer. But anyway, it's on true. the topic here, Alolan Grimer was battling its Mimikyu. Mm -hmm. Um, it was a Sorolla's trial, and Mimikyu had, um, Mimikyu was very strong, actually. It is. It was a ghost and fairy type. Well, it still is. I don't say why. Amazing I don't know why it was. But anyway, um, so my lonely Grimer knew Crunch. I only used Crunch and Poison Fang, and Minimize. You gotta love a little mucks with Minimize. They're definitely not annoying. It's annoying. So I used Minimize twice, and it's at like four hearts right now or five. I don't remember. That's how much I love it. I don't remember. Um, yeah. So it's at four hearts or five hearts. And then, um, Mimikyu uses, um, Play Rough, and it misses, mm. and then I use Bite, and then now it's in Red Life, and then it uses Play Rough again, and it misses, now it's in Bite, and now it's in Red Life, and I should have died. Number two goes to Incineroar. Between Lit and Rallon and Pablo, I've always liked all them. I had a really good game with the Decidueye, and, um, a really good game with an Incineroar, and not really well with the Primarian, but I really like Pablo as they're my original favorite. So it always went back and forth, but I finally decided with Litten, and Incineroar gets number two. The number one spot on my list goes to Decidueye. Um, so Decidueye is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon, but just don't ask me why it's not my favorite top ten Pokemon, just because I didn't look at Alola. I don't know why, but I really didn't. I didn't want to. Anyway, um, it's one of my favorite Pokemon ever, probably right behind Politoed, but not... Probably a couple spots behind Pilot Code. Um, and it's Ghost and Grass typing. I thought it was going to be Ghost and Flying, but no. It's Ghost and Grass. And it's a Grass type. Grass types are my favorite. And that is the reason why I chose Decidueye as my number one Pokemon, as you can see later on. My number one spot goes to Deterdinator. So, me and him are like doing like the bro stuff and... What? Waiting for Sun and Moon videos to come out when they used to like do like little tiny videos of Pokemon and they Turtinator got his own video and I was like I need this Pokemon I need it I need it I need it so Pokemon Sun and Moon came out I played Pokemon Sun caught Turtinator it's amazing it's like a turtle that has like just breathes fire and it's a dragon turtle and that breathes fire and it's really cool so that is why Turtinator gets my number one spot thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I had so much fun making this video with Pokezone. Check out his channel, or else. But anyway, um, if you did like this video, like the video. If you didn't like the video, still like the video, because I want more likes. <laughs> Can we get two likes? Two. I'm just all asking. Only two. I might up it. Two I might up it if you get a five. Yes, two. Get a five. Three. Three two likes. Two or five, guys. Or seven. Give him like. Five. Hey, subscribe to me. Three, give three. him the like. I want three. I want three. So give me the subscribe. Give him the like. Subscribe to him. Comment on all of our videos. Yes. We will be collabing soon. Um. So yeah, hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys want a bloopers video, because we have tons of bloopers. Definitely. Stay tuned for future videos just like that. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Which ciao. Bye. Ah.